okay, we've been learning about living things. Um, what do you know about living things? Do you remember? Living things breathe and they eat. And last week we were learning about plants. What do we learn about plants? They need what? A seed. What else do they need? Soil, water, and sunlight to grow and sprout like our seeds are doing. This week we're going to be talking about the life of a butterfly. Have you ever seen a butterfly? What color was the butterfly that you saw? Have you ever seen a caterpillar? What color was the caterpillar that you saw? Have you ever picked up a caterpillar and had him crawl on your hand and your arm? Have you ever had a butterfly land on your hand? Now I'm gonna, we're gonna learn about the life of a butterfly. Butterflies go through many changes as they grow. Here's a butterfly. Now butterflies, one of our words that we're gonna learn about this week is delicate. Do you know what delicate means? Butterflies have delicate wings, which means that if you touch them, they could easily rip or tear. They're very delicate. So you don't wanna to touch a butterfly's wings. A butterfly starts life as an egg on a plant. Look how small this egg is compared to the size of the leaf that it's on. It's very tiny. A caterpillar hatches out of this egg. Now, does this caterpillar look like a butterfly yet? It doesn't, does it? The caterpillar eats leaves and it grows really fast. It also sheds its skin as it grows. As you grow, do you shed your skin? No, we don't, do we? Our skin stretches and grows with us, but a caterpillar has to shed its skin as it grows. After a while, the caterpillar turns into a pupa, and then it makes a chrysalis. Now, does the pupa look like a butterfly? No, not yet, but inside its chrysalis, the pupa is turning into a butterfly. At last, the butterfly breaks out of its chrysalis, and then the butterfly waits for its wings to dry when it comes out of its chrysalis, its wings are wet and they're too heavy, it can't fly. So it has to wait for his wings to dry and then it can fly away. In the fall, some butterflies fly south. They want to stay warm during the winter. And then in the spring, they fly back north. Soon, the female butterflies will start all over again. They will lay eggs on a leaf, and then new butterflies will begin their life. Here's the life cycle of the butterfly. Starts out, the butterfly lays an egg on a leaf, and out of that egg hatches a caterpillar. The caterpillar becomes a pupa growing inside a chrysalis and soon inside that chrysalis that pupa turns into a butterfly. So that's the life cycle of a butterfly. This week in your packet you got, you have a paper called The Butterfly Life Cycle, and you may color each of these pictures.
Here are the eggs on the leaf, the chrysalis, the butterfly, and the caterpillar. I want you to color each of these pictures. Get a pair of scissors with mom or dad's help. Cut out each of your pictures and glue them on to your paper. And when you finished, I think it would be a great idea for mom or dad to take a picture of you holding your paper so that Mrs. Allen, Mrs. Yost, Mrs. Lutz, Mrs. Dallas, Mrs. Trish and I can all see your beautiful pictures. Thanks guys, see you next time.